Oh, we will get here in this video. We're going to be taking a look at CM12 um, running on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, we're just going to take a look at um, some of the new features. Um, this is my first time using Lollipop. Um, just going to take a look at um, you know some of the apps that have changed and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is running in new material design. So the whole user interface has been completely redesigned. Applications have been redesigned about around material design. So you can see app launch is a bit different. It's got this nice solid uh, white background. You can scroll across, very smooth. So far I've been using it, it's been fast, no issues or anything like that. The drop down notification tray is different. You could just literally, um, didn't mean to open it up. You can literally just drag everything down. You could adjust the volume, um, change, turn off Wi Fi, Bluetooth. You've got your decorate settings and location, flashlight, and everything from there. And you could swipe away your notifications as well. Let's close you. You could also switch between different users. You could add a guest user, um, uh, jump straight into settings as well. And the settings have um, changed as well. See if I can lower the brightness a little bit so you can see. So this is what the settings look like. Um, you've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you've got your wireless and networks at the top. You've got per personalization so you can switch between launches. Status bar so you can have brightness control, pull down, notification count, show weather, um, battery style portrait circle so if you want to change it to a circle you can change it to a circle and you can have the default one you can have the with the perspective percentage inside the circle or next to the icon whatever you prefer you can customize it up your buttons home button long press for recent basically customize like the button layout and stuff like that uh, you got display, sound notification, storage, battery. Um, battery on this, um, I don't think it will be good as good as the stock ROM. Um, I think just because this ROM is still in a very, very early stages, there's still a lot of bugs, there's still a lot of optimization to be made with the battery life and the ROM. So I don't think the battery life will be as good as the stock ROM. And also this um, ROM is, there is a few bugs in there, things don't work properly. Um, like for instance, I think when you're charging it up it might the phone might get a bit hot and um, stuff like that but over time hopefully in the next coming uh, weeks uh, months everything should be nice and smooth and you know you should have a fully functioning stable ROM this ROM is stable enough to use as a daily driver if you're brave enough to use it but you know expect bugs and stuff like that uh, you got users so if you wanted so if you wanted to give your phone to someone else you could um, add a guest user or add any other user that you want maybe if you have a brother sister mom whoever wants to use it um, you got system profiles so you could have a profile for you know your default one homework night sleep work um, got security change the look Funny enough, in CM12 you don't have the fingerprint um, scanner, so you do lose that ability, you know, when you um, install CM12. Back up and restore. Access. You've got CPU user down here as well. Another thing I wanted to show you is this is running Android version 5.0.2. And um, we're just going to tap that a few times, and it's going to bring up that special screen. The lollipop appears, and you can tap it, it changes colors. To multiple different colors and if you told and press it brings up this game if you remember flappy birds it's, it's essentially the same thing but you got two lollipop and you got the android guy you know you have to try get through oops you have to try get through the lollipops it's, it's extremely hard to do very hard I think I only managed to get through one of them oops there yeah, just one I can't get through the second one it's almost impossible to do but if you get through the second one, let me know in the comment section down below. But this is like a nice little um, Easter egg uh, mini game that you get with Lollipop. So we're going to back out of that for now. Now I want to show you some of the changes that they've made like in the UI. Um, let's take a look at the camera. I think the camera's the same. The camera still looks pretty good. Still take pictures and you've got all the options to adjust everything how you want it. 
Um, internet browsers changed, um, updated it with material um, design. So they've kind of like redesigned all the logos and you can see the bar up there is green. And the keyboard is redesigned as well, I don't know if you noticed that. It's now kind of like a white um, keyboard to kind of match the whole material design. Everything, the whole um, the whole new UI is based around material design so you're going to see it more or less everywhere um, throughout the phone. Um, the keypad, they've changed that up a bit. Messaging, they've changed that up. Um, well, YouTube, I believe they've changed it up a bit as well. They've more or less changed all the Google applications. Let me see if I could try to get through a majority of them. I think the calculator's changed a bit as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some benchmarks right now. First, I wanna run Quadrant Standard. I'm gonna see what kind of results we get with that. We're gonna run a full benchmark. You know, just gonna see how well this performs. Like I said, this is still in its early stages and it hasn't been fully optimized and stuff like that. So over the um, coming weeks or months, they should get uh, more updates, you know, to make it faster and, you know, more efficient and hopefully get better scores than whatever score we're gonna get right now. It's a pretty quick test and you can see we've got 14, yeah, 14,006. I know for a fact I've done this on another ROM that I had and I got like a much higher score. I can't remember exactly what score I got but I got a much higher score than this. So there's a lot of um, optimization that needs to be done and hopefully maybe you could overclock it and do some kind of stuff like that to you know get a better score. Next we're going to run Antutu benchmark. We're going to do the test and we're going to see what kind of results we get with this. Alright, so the N22 benchmark test is finished and I've got 48,187. So, you know, pretty good results. You can see it's above the HTC One M8, the OnePlus One. You can see it's just below the Note 4. More or less around the same um, score. And then that uh, brand at the top, which I have no idea what it is. S5 is down here along with the G3, HTC One, Nexus 5. So overall, it's a pretty good score. It's up there, you know, one of the best um, scores you're going to get. So yeah, that is benchmark. Overall, the phone runs pretty fast. There's no lag or slowdown or anything like that. Everything just runs nice and flawlessly. Um, so yeah, this is the CM12 running on the Note 4. Um, like I said, it's still in its OG stages. There's a lot of stuff to be added to it. I think the developers slowly updating it um, every now and then. So hopefully over the coming weeks or months, it should be at a point where it's stable and it's good enough to use as your daily driver. Right now it is good enough to use as your daily driver as long as you can put up with the bugs that you know come with the ROM. So uh, yeah, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, please um, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Have you tried that for yourself? Um, you know, leave all that good stuff in the comment section down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, if you want this um, uh, ROM on your phone, I have a root method. So you can root your phone, flash re recovery, and install this ROM. I'll show you exactly how to do it. I have all of those links in the comment section um, in the description um, down below. So you can, you know, try it for yourself. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Peace.